Uh, I am Mr. Yon Olasan. And I'm a white male privilege type. And, and welcome we're here to, to the grand final guys, of... Do you mind if I just host this time? Hmm. Is that okay? You know what? He might need this. He is talking to three variants of himself at the moment. Yeah, that's right. You do deserve it, I think. Okay. On you go. Take it away. Okay, take it away, I shall. And a big special shout out to Mr. Jan Sand. Thank you for being the Executive Supervisor of the European Broadcasting Union for 10 years. You have evolved Eurovision for the good. So thank you very much. And welcome everyone. My name is Mitchell James. Welcome to the MJT Reviews Eurovision Song Contest 2020 Grand Final Isolation Edition. <laughs> yes, as we know, Eurovision is cancelled and honestly it has been very distressing night after night from the 19th of March 2020 when I heard the, re the news that Eurovision was cancelled I think we have the footage of my reaction when we found out it was cancelled But now we are here to announce the winner of the Eurovision Song Contest 2020 Grand Final. My Facebook friends, everyone there, you voted for the results of the semi-final one, the results of the semi-final two, and the 10 countries in both semi-finals combined with the big five and host country have been announced in the Grand Final. I don't know why there are so many birds suddenly chirping, but anyway, they're pissing me off. Six special jury members are going to be announcing the results one by one. So let's start off the voting now with the first jury member. Jury member, are you there? Hey ah! guys, it's Elise, musicologist and composer extraordinaire, or at least according to Mitchell. It's great to be back for another year on this channel and I really have been looking forward to sharing my 12 votes. It was quite a tough year. There were a lot of really good entries. I had one point difference between my top and my second place, but in the end, I couldn't get past this one song. My 12 points goes to Grace with Supergirl. La Grace du Poir. Thank you so much, Elise. That was Elise Turner right there, musicologist and composer extraordinaire. So now we have the first set of votes. Our current top three is Iceland at third. At second place is Malta. And first place is Greece. So now we move on to the second jury member. Jury member, are you there? Hey Mitchell, great show. Ah! It's Lamb here. Thank you for having me on this year's voting of Eurovision. I am very surprised by the diversity of um, talents and genres for this year. And this is how I voted. My 12 points go to Sweden. La Suède, 12 points. Congratulations, Sweden. And um, thanks again for having me and I wish you all the best. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you so much, Lamb. Lamb fans will be very happy all over the world there. So the current top three is now in third place, Sweden. In second place, Iceland. And in first place, Greece. We move on to the third jury member. Jury member, are you there? Oh, hi, Martin. Hi there, Mitchell. It's Martin Palmer from Let Me Be The One blog and radio show. And thank you very much for including me on the MJT ESC20 voting this year. My 12 points has gone this year to Norway, Uriki and attention. Norvège, douze points. Thank you so much, Martin. You can catch Martin on Let Me Be The One, an incredible Eurovision radio show. You really should check it out. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. And also, he's a regular panelist on ESC Fan TV, which sometimes I am on as well. And I will hope to be back um, more regularly with the ESC Fan TV family next season as well. So, our current top three is third place Greece, second place Malta now, and first place is Iceland. Now we will race over to the fourth jury member. Jury member, are you there? Hi, it's Michelle coming to you live from Sydney, Australia. 
Gosh, the competition was good this year. I have to give a shout out to Russia and Iceland for amazing videos, but my 12 points go to... Switzerland! La Suisse, 12 points. Thank you so much, Michelle. Thank you very much. And we now have the current top three. Third place is Malta. Second place is Greece. And first place is Iceland. We move on to a fifth jury member that many in the Australian Eurovision community will know and love. Jury member, are you there? Hi everyone, it's Danny here. Hope you're all well and looking after yourselves during this horrific thing. Um, my 12 points go to Iceland. Iceland, 12 points. Thank you so much, Danny. You can catch Danny. She's the vice president of the Ogay Australia fan club, and you can also catch her on Eurovision Hub along with a plethora of Eurovision vlogs and videos and blogs because she is just freelance Eurovision geek. Okay, so we move on to the final special jury member. Jury member, are you there? I don't know who this is, so we'll see. Hi-ho! Hi, Mitchell. Great show you did. Um, sorry. I'm very confused. I don't understand. Oh, I'm you in the future, so I know exactly what you're thinking. I know your results this year, and I can tell you your top 12. And you can ask me one question if you'd like. Oh my gosh, wow. Well, I mean, I'm just dying to know if, does San Marino... Yes, San Marino does win Eurovision. Wow. And do they... Yes, they did host it in a shed in Slovakia, yeah. Wow, that's so amazing, incredible. But enough about 2067, I'm here to tell you your top in 2020. So, my 12 points go to Norway. Norway, 12 points. Thanks. Thank you See so you later. much, Bye. future self. Now we have the top five of the special jury. So far, in fifth place, we have Austria. In fourth place, we have Lithuania. In third place, we have Greece. In second place, we have Norway. And currently, in first place, we have Iceland. But we have many more jury votes to go. Anything can change. So now it's time to announce the remaining jury as well. We have a lot of jury members, thanks to the Facebook friends. So many of you voted and of varied groups of people as well. We have an Australian music savant in her early 80s. We have uh, a higher up person in the New South Wales Department of Education of Australia. We have a Chinese born Australian who is a player in a European symphonic orchestra at the moment. We have an American Eurovision fan from Ohio. We have a Filipino singer and travel vlogger. We have a Malaysian coder. We have a whole bunch of Australian Eurovision geeks and we have a whole bunch of British Eurovision geeks as well just to name only a few so with the remaining jury we have a total of 696 points to give away still so like i said anything can change it's now time to announce the winner of the mjt reviews eurovision song contest 2020 and we're going to start announcing the points in the order of our special jury results in 26 at the moment is Ukraine and Ukraine now gets six points. Next up is Spain. Spain now gets 14 points. Next up is France. France gets 12 points. Next up is Armenia. Now Armenia gets from the remaining jury, 41 points. 
Okay, so next up is Australia. Australia gets 22 points. Next up is the Netherlands. The Netherlands gets 28 points. Next up is United Kingdom. The United Kingdom gets 26 points. Next up is Italy. Now, Italy, you get 46 points. <gasps> Woo! Okay. This is crazy. Latvia. Latvia now gets 21 points. Next up, Bulgaria. Bulgaria gets 24 points. Next up is Finland. Finland gets 30 points. Next up, Albania. Albania gets 35 points. Next up is Ireland. Ireland gets 12 points. Next up is Germany. Germany gets 14 points. Next up is Romania. Romania gets 8 points. And the next one is Switzerland. And Switzerland gets... 43 points! Wow, everything has now changed. We now currently have, so far, 5th place is Armenia on 41 points. Fourth place is Albania on 46 points. Third place is Iceland on 47 points. Second place is Italy on 55 points. And currently in the lead is now Switzerland on 57 points. 10 more countries to announce the results for. This is extremely tense. It's so tense. And it's now time. Okay. All right. So, currently, Russia is next. And we're moving on. Russia. You now get... 36 points, now putting you in third place with 52 points in total. Malta is next. Malta, what did Malta get? Malta, you get 13 points. So that now puts Malta in 13th place with a total of 30 points. Sweden. Sweden, you now get a further 36 points. Now putting Sweden in 4th place with a total of 53 points. Denmark. You now receive a further 38 points, now putting them with 55 points. Israel. Israel, you get 10 points which now puts Israel in 15th place with a total of 29 points. Now, looking at the leaderboard, currently leading, we have Switzerland with 57 points. For some reason, I did not record the announcement for Austria's results, but Austria gets 17 points, moving them up to... 36 points in total. Norway. 
you now get twenty three points, which is not enough. Now we have Lithuania. Lithuania, you now get. Sixty-four points! Now putting you in first place with a total of 88 points. Ooh, wow! Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Alright. Now we have Greece. Greece. You get a further nineteen points, which now puts you with forty three points in total. Second place is Switzerland with fifty seven points. And currently in first place is Lithuania with a lucky 88 points. But anything can change still. So Lithuania is still at first. How many points did Iceland get from the remainder of the jury? Now let's find out. Thanks to your votes. You have given Iceland in the MJT reviews Eurovision Song Contest 2020 Isolation Grand Final. <sighs> 58 points, giving them a total of 105 points, which means Iceland is the winner of MJT Reviews Eurovision Song Contest 2020 Isolation Edition. Woo! Think about things is the winner. This is incredible. Congratulations to Dardi and everyone who participated this year. But Think About Things is the winner. Congratulations, Iceland Dardi. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you, everyone who watched. Um, you know, I'm really happy for Iceland. If that was true, that would mean that Eurovision next year would be in Reykjavik. And I'm always worried about Reykjavik. And finally, I'm not going to have it. Okay. Okay. All right. It'll happen one day. You know, you don't know if that's the truth, if that's the true result. But um, <laughs> it would be so nice for Eurovision to be in Reykjavik next year. Anyway, I've been Mitchell James. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to see more content like this if you want to on MJT Reviews on YouTube. And until next time, and there will be a Eurovision 2021. So we have that to definitely look forward to. Um, in Rotterdam again for a redo for the 65th Eurovision Song Contest. Until next time, bon soir Europe and goodbye. We'll make the cut. We'll make the cut.